the World Wrestling Federation. For over 50 years, the revolutionary force in sports entertainment. Shawn Michaels one-on-one -on -one with Skip. And here they come. Skip and Sonny. Vince McMahon here along with Doc Hendricks. Let's listen up to Sonny. Skip, I definitely accept your challenge. Okay, I beat you once, as far as twice. I, that's a big mountain to climb. I know it's a big mountain to climb, but I know I could climb it. 10 minutes, I think I could do it. I think I could do it, yeah, yeah. Ten, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, I could do it. I know I could do it. I could do it. Skip, could you do it in 10 minutes is the big question. That's all I wanna know. Well, what he needs to get from the postman is a return to sender for that horrible toupee he has. Will you stop that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, school is in session. Let's go to Dean Douglas. The most elementary of numbers, one, two, three, used to describe the most elementary of performers here, in the World Wrestling Federation. Observe. The one, two, three kid. Numbers made very appropriate simply because the one, two, three kid has not graduated from the most elementary of grades here in the World Wrestling Federation. All right. And uh, Aldo Montoya is a triple on cover. We get one, two in. A kick out by Aldo. And Akuji with an opportunity. Check out this. You know, with SummerSlam only two weeks away, I've, I tend to take things just a little more serious. Isaac Yankum, DDS. You know, I don't know if you're really a dentist or what. I don't even know if you're a great wrestler. Maybe secretly you're a great wrestler. Well, I'm not going to leave anything to doubt. I'm going to go in there in the SummerSlam, and I'm going to knock your teeth out. I'm going to drill your face so many times that you'll be sorry that you ever connected yourself with Jerry Lawler in the first place. In the SummerSlam, the hitman will dispose of the Tooth Fairy. See you in the SummerSlam, punk. Class, your attention, please. Your... I thought so. Thank you. I've heard many of you here in my classroom refer to the WWF champion, Diesel, as Big Daddy Cool. I've even heard some of you, in poor fashion, use the word cool, such as hey man that's cool or yo cool so therefore definition cool slang very good let's consider diesel's performance in the wwf rings i don't consider that to be very cool in the way that you use the word. Therefore, I give a grade to Big Daddy Cool of D. No, make that a big D. For defeatable, if he should ever venture, into the ring with the D. Here in the World Wrestling Federation, that he's more concerned with what the fans think than what he's doing in the ring, and that is wrestling Jerry the King Lawler. If we continue forward in the match, we'll find exactly what that kind of behavior will get you here in the rings of the World Wrestling Federation. Again, Shawn Michaels is looking for the approval of the crowd. And if we continue on to see what happens when you seek such approval, the King Jerry Lawler will make you pay every time.
<laughs> Therefore, heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, after very close consideration from this Monday Night Raw, I give you a grade of IU <laughs> for inanely Bring all the Novocaine they can get your little grubby gloves on because you're going to need it. And by the way, bring along that diabolical hygienist of yours just for the fun of it. Oh, Silence. No. Until now, comma, I have kept all my emotions in check. You have attacked me. You have stole my urn. And you have defiled it. You wear it as cheap jewelry. But now you have stepped over the boundaries of what I can accept. I am the chosen one, the protectors of the creatures. And your attack on my creatures of the night sealed your fate. Come SummerSlam, when I shut that casket on you, believe me, you will rest in peace. World Wrestling Federation Champion should enter ring. And speaking of champions, ladies and gentlemen, the one and the only, WWF title holder, Big Daddy Cool Diesel, here this week in a special interview. Not what's standing a matchup with The Undertaker against Native American Tataka. And there he is, there on the right of your screen, ladies and gentlemen. The next World Wrestling Federation champion, perhaps, yes, the king himself, King of the Ring Award winner, King Mabel, who clashes with Diesel at SummerSlam this Sunday night on pay per view. He'll have the gold crown and the gold belt. Won't that be great? And I assure you, this matchup will last. Wait a minute, look at from behind. Mo and Mabel, men on a mission attacking their tag team opponents from behind from the get-go. Roy Raymond, Joe Adcock having their problems. And now, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Adcock against Mabel, finally official, clearing the ring. And look at this monstrous 568 pounds of Mabel. He's huge. Mabel continuing to drive the knee into Adcock's midsection. And now, what a chop. And as you pointed out before, King, it is questionable as to whether or not WWF Champion Diesel would be able to jackknife someone a 568-pound stature like this. I'd be oh. willing to bet my crown that he can't do it. Adcock really oh. having his problems. And Mabel is mean. Make no mistake about it. Those of you several weeks ago who were joining us who saw Mabel's tag team partner, Mo, one-on-one -on -one with the WWF Champion in the non-title match. Oh, look at that. <laughs> saw exactly what Mabel did to Diesel. Saw what he did as well to Shawn Michaels. Well, that was nothing compared to what I did to Shawn Michaels. Are you referring to the encounter last week? Yes, that grueling physical and mental encounter that I had with Shawn Michaels. I guarantee you, oh. he'll never be the same after that. That took so much out of him. And as a matter of fact, if it hadn't been for Psycho... Well, Champion. hey, wait a minute. Here comes that flea-bitten mongrel, the British Bulldog. Skips head, snapping back! As the one, two, three, connected, and here he goes again! If he does that to Isaac Yankum, and Jerry Lawler cuts in from behind! There's a pinning for Dickmut there, and oh, Hakushian's get collided! In the SummerSlam is lots and lots of Novocaine. 